Welcome back to my channel. I have developed a new workflow and as soon as I develop a new workflow, I feel like I have to make a video about it. Now this workflow is guaranteed to work, it's guaranteed to rank you on Google and it's guaranteed to produce good, helpful content. Now the first part of this is to find a keyword. Again, if you want to do in-depth keyword research or if you want to know how I do semantic SEO, Feel free to go to my channel, click on playlists right here, or just go to youtube.com slash income stream surfers slash playlists. And then I have a step-by-step -step building topical authority guide. This entire playlist will give you all of the information you need to create good, helpful content that will rank on Google. However, in this video, we are talking about a new workflow. I've been using keywordtool.io to do all of my keyword research. It's such a simple method. All you need is a base keyword, and then from that base keyword, you just find a good topic for a blog post. Now, base keywords. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in Italian suits, for example. This is a base keyword. If you cannot think of a base keyword for your niche, you're probably not in a good niche. You need to know something about your niche, okay, in order for this to actually work. So let's go with, um, are Italian suits good? Why the hell not? I would use another niche, but I don't want to use my clients' niches in video, so it's a little bit difficult for me to actually think of niches. So that's why I always use suits. So the first part of this is we're going to use Bard. I'm going to say, give me an SEO optimized uh, outline blog outline for an article about our Italian suits good now Bard does work very very well it works very very quickly as you can see it's basically done already this gives us all of the keywords all of the you know blah 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 etc etc that you might need so why that's a weird link so we're gonna go here and click copy right here I'm gonna go over to Claude I'm gonna say give Write me an SEO optimized article using this outline. Now you might say, where are the internal links, etc. Wait, uh, write me an SEO optimized article, including headings, tables, and lists following this outline. We're actually, for once, we're gonna be adding the internal links afterwards. And the reason for that is just because Claude invents internal links okay so it's not a good thing to do you you should not use claude to add internal links however what claude does do is it writes longer articles so i'm going to say write around 2000 words and this is something that chat gpt does so basically fails at basically what we're doing is we're using each ai to its strength bard's strength in my opinion and I'm sure you guys agree, is SEO keyword research, okay, or SEO outlines. Claude's strength is, of course, writing longer content. ChatGPT strength, we will get to in one second, okay? So let's hit enter here. Here is a 2,000 word SEO optimized article on Italian suits with headings, tables, and lists. As you can see, it's following exactly what I told it to do. It's giving, it's following the outline, which will hit all of the SEO points. It's giving us lists. It's giving us, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one thing that you could potentially change is putting your uh, brands into here. So I'm going to say something like, uh, talk, talk about my brands. Kiton, Cesare, Attolini. Etc. Uh, no, not etc. Um, Brunello, Cuscinelli, Cuccinelli, um, Sartorio, Napoli. Okay, so you do want to do that because when you are internally linking afterwards, you do want it to actually internally link to your brands and not brands that you don't sell. So we don't sell Loro Piana, for example. Uh, we don't sell I've never known how to say that word. Zenia. Okay, so we sell Kitan Cesaretellini. So you do want to make sure that you are writing about your products, okay? The products that you are selling. So another thing that this will do sometimes is it will start writing about where to buy Italian suits. We don't want it to write about our competitors, obviously. So suit supply. If I was writing for iSuit and I wrote an article that mentioned Sue Supply, 
I would be fired, okay? So you gotta be careful with this. It doesn't work 100%. What you wanna make sure that it's doing is writing about your business, okay? So I would probably, I would just add something like to the prompt, make sure you only write about two men or make sure you only write about eye suit and make sure you mention my brands, Kiton, Cesare Attalini and uh, whatever else it might be. So just be careful with that. This is just a little change that I would make to this. But apart from that, you can see that this is a very, very long and very, very good article. So now we take this over to ChatGPT. First of all, let's just check how many words this actually is. So we'll go to docs.new, control V, and then we will actually check how long this article is. So we'll paste here. So you can see that it's seven pages. So I'm gonna guess it's actually about 2000 words, 1,688 words. Okay, perfect. So what we now wanna do, you have two options, either use ChatGPT or you use the playground. I am gonna use ChatGPT. So I'm gonna say, please add my internal links to this article, do not change anything don't change formatting content make it short don't don't make it shorter leave the article as is but add internal links then you just want to find a few internal links okay uh let's say make sure the internal links are uh have contextually relevant anchor text okay and then let's just grab a few uh, I normally wouldn't do it like this but I just I don't want to go too crazy here so we'll just what I've been doing recently is instead of trying to give it like a million internal links I've just been giving it a few and I do find this works a lot better so we'll just you know give it some links here like this you can do this manually you don't you don't always have to use automation so four internal links is actually fine. Like you don't need 50 internal links, okay? I probably have been making mistakes or have been making a mistake telling people to use a million internal links. It's really not necessary. Four internal links is kind of all Google expects for an article of this size. Okay, so ChatGPT has been doing this to me all day long. I don't know what is going on, but it says, I'm sorry, but I can't assist with adding internal links to your article. If you need any help, Feel free to ask, why can't you? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. So I'm just gonna go GPT 3.5. I'm gonna use exactly the same prompt and I'm gonna hope that it does it. So I, this was working earlier. I, something is going on with ChatGPT. I don't know what they're up to. It's almost like if a request takes too many tokens, they're just gonna refuse to do it, which is kind of annoying me. So you're telling me that ChatGPT 3.5 can do it, but ChatGPT 4 can't, right, okay. Okay, so ChatGPT 3.5 is working perfectly for this. It is adding uh, the same internal link more than once, which is something that I forgot to say in the prompt to not do that, but it's not a big issue to be honest with you. I don't think it really affects SEO that badly, even if it just uses the same internal link over and over. Um, I have had articles that do that that rank perfectly fine, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. The end result here should be an article that um, will rank on Google. We'll just let this finish. You would want to add that to the prompt, but ChatGPT 3.5 doesn't even listen to you anyway. Even if you say, please don't use the same internal link more than once, it basically says F you and just does whatever it wants. So do be careful with that. And then the final step of this is to go to new chat, I guess, because we're on ChatGPT 3.5. Go to Dali, put the prompt, uh, put the entire article here, and then say, please create a blog post featured featured image for this article. I swear to God, Dali, if you tell me you can't do that, I am going to cry. Now, another thing you can do, I don't know what's going on with ChatGPT. I really do not know what's going on with ChatGPT today. So just before I show you the final thing with the playground, uh, let's just quickly talk about this. Featured images, look at that quality. You would not get better quality if you paid someone $150 to make you a blog featured image. This is currently what I'm doing. I am now doing this on client sites because I, I believe that it's there, it's at that point. And I'm still doing some testing, but just look at the quality on this. Absolutely insane. These actually look like they could be Neapolitan suits as well, or Italian suits. Okay, so the last way is actually using um, the playground. So we'll copy this, 
go into the playground. This is using GPT-4 as well. Put maximum length around here and then we'll scroll up and we will get the prompt from before. The reason that you kind of want to use ChatGPT4 is because the the it, it understands instructions better. Okay, so if you're using 3.5, it can have problems. It it can misunderstand things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you're just using Chat, if you're using ChatGPT4, it does work much better. So we'll put the exact same prompt, but this time we'll say um, only use an internal link a maximum of once. Also, please create a key takeaways table for the top of the article, which will give people all of the information they need from that article summarized into a condensed format. Okay, uh, and then we'll just press submit here. This should do exactly the same thing, just in a better way. Okay, so in typical OpenAI ChatGPT fashion, what they've done is they've used placeholder content. I'm getting kind of frustrated, to be honest with you, because it didn't used to be like this. I know why they're doing this. They're trying to not use too many tokens, okay? And it's really obvious to me, and it's, it's, it's annoying. So if you could just stop doing this OpenAI, I think everyone would just appreciate it if you just stop asking around and just go back to you know, the good old days where you weren't trying to conserve tokens and you're just getting on with the job. You can see it's completely changing the text here. I, I specifically told it not to. I specifically said don't use placeholder content. This is an absolute joke. I'm, I'm, I'm getting frustrated now. Um, I don't know why it's doing this. It, it's just trying to save tokens because they don't want to. They don't want to waste processing power. To summarize this video, I will tell you right now that you can use ChatGPT 3.5. There's no problem. Okay, you use. Dali, Dali 3 to create the featured image. You use Claude to write the content and use Bard to create the outline. That's kind of, you know, if ChatGPT is working as it's supposed to, that is the optimal combination. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.